What is going on my peeps? Your boy Versatile is back with another video back. As you guys can see, it finally arrived home. Yes, the Samsung Galaxy S20 5G. Now, of course, I got the smaller one as I've been very happy to be back in the place of more smaller based phones. I don't mind having the Sub 6 5G. That's not as a big deal to me. I almost got the S20 Plus because it was like, oh, why not? It's just slightly more expensive, slightly taller and you get the better 5G, but since 5G is nowhere near to be worried about right now, plus slightly taller is like a half, a, almost a half an inch taller. I decided I'm foregoing that, and we're going for the smaller S20. I got it in the cloud blue. Yes, I've been looking forward to this. Mainly the Galaxy Buds Plus um, over this, but I've been accumulating interest and kind of excitement and hype because now I have a device I can attach to my tablet and that'll be in a further video I'll explain that then so my Galaxy Buds Plus actually didn't come like as a separate box so I don't know if it's gonna be in here or it's coming separately or I got a hassle T-Mobile because they told me on the phone I was supposed to be getting the Galaxy Buds Plus so we're gonna find out when we open this for sure because my wife was really hoping to get my Galaxy Buds but nonetheless before I cut into this box with Tigris Make sure you guys like and subscribe to this video and subscribe. Uh, that was a mouthful right there. You know, make sure you guys hit that notification bell too. I know some uh, YouTube's been changing people's notification bells. If you make sure you click it and click on all instead of personalized, you'll get a notification when I drop videos. I've been pretty consistent recently dropping videos. So if you guys are in the tech, Funko, as you guys, you guys can see, I got my Venomized Thanos in, in the building right here. If you guys are into stuff like that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But now let's get into the video. Tig Tigris, let's get to it. Hold up. I know, Tigris, I know you're not. Hold up. All right, you know what? There we go. There we go. I was about to say, I know Tiger's been about to struggle. I don't think I'll be needing her anymore. I'm going to copy some of my stuff from my... Actually, I probably won't copy my stuff from my... Uh, I think I'm just going to go and clean and download all the apps I need again. Uh, so, to some degree, I'll be copying from my Pixel 4. But, for the most part, this is going to be the daily driver. I'm liking it. Now, of course, in the box here, you guys probably saw I get this nice little thing here. And with Thanos in the way here, I might have to scoop Thanos a little further out of frame, but I want y'all to see that ball of fire in his hands. So you get this box here full of stuff. Uh, you get the SIM card ejection tool right here, as you guys can see, get that SIM ejection tool. And then upon, you know, ripping into this box here, uh, oops, um, you get more paperwork stuff that, you, you know, you don't really care about, just T-Mobile terms and conditions. You know, because uh, Samsung still makes variants or carrier variants. And I guess it's just because of the type of networking hardware they have inside. Like Verizon has their own one. T-Mobile, Sprint, AT&T. So you get all this dumb paperwork. Box is empty. I collect these because you never know when you might lose one. So actually for now, I'll just leave it in there. So put this stuff back in here. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited to try that 120 hertz out. That's the most... That's the biggest feature I'm really caring to use right now is that 120 hertz. I'm used to the 90 on the Pixel devices. All right, <laughs> let's get back into the video. So as you guys can see here, ooh, I haven't touched the Samsung device. And one of the main things that I appreciate about it already is I can already notice that the screen has been, you know, moved up. It's less uh, curvy. You know, get more handles for the phone. It feels good. 6.1 inches isn't too bad. It kind of does remind me of the, uh, this is 6.2 inches, but um, it kind of reminds me of the uh, Pixel 4 XL a little bit. The Pixel 4 XL was 6.3 inches, so it's nice seeing this, and I like how it just feels so good. Like, I, I heard, uh, wasn't it, Tech Odyssey, he said that uh, the, the Ultra reminded him of like a beefy S8 Plus, and that's kind of how I feel about this device the s20 feels like an s8 like I, I like the design of the s8 i remember actually trading in my s8 for the pixel 2 back in the day was that 2017 so yeah this is this is a solid device i like the camera here it's, it's much less pronounced and in the way unlike the ultras camera and you guys see this baby blue it looks so nice but before it's got a screen protector on it too it comes pre-installed a screen protector that i will take off but before we get into the device of course you get this little piece here to help kind of pull stuff back take this out here 
it's a sim card that I will not be needing because I'm just gonna pop my sim in right and then you get a cable right here you get the USB oh oh did they finally do it okay well, okay so you get it's a small cable but it's USB-C to USB-C but oh yeah so they did then so the, the charger here is USB-C they finally gave us it and I believe it's a 25 watt charger so they've increased the yep super fast charging so they've increased the speed to 25 watts uh, out of the box and then the ultra is able to charge at 45 watts but i heard it's like a very very like menial difference so it's not as big of a deal but if i had it i would definitely get it but it's nice that you get the 25 watt out the box it reminds me of the google pixels charger brick and then the usb-c the usb-c plug-in like that boom we'll connect we'll keep that connected because this will be going on the charger once i turn it on and then yes unfortunately in the box there is no galaxy buds plus they played me, uh, so I'm definitely gonna have to get in touch with T-Mobile on that. But um, get the AKG tuned uh, headphones in the meantime, with the different the ear plugs, ear tips. You know what I'm saying? So all that stuff is nice. Put this right back in here. Can I? Oh, it's a braided cable too. You guys get we get a braided. You guys can tell if I put it back in the box. You do get a braided cable. That's nice. Nice little step up, Samsung. I see you. I see you. All right, so put that there. And then what's in this thing? I hate trying to open these little things unless there's just something to put in here, which is starting to look like that. I thought this was going to be like the little, you know, tool you use to switch your stuff over. But I guess apparently you could just USB-C to USB-C your device. We're going to find out right here and right now. Yeah, so this is like a little filler piece right here. Kind of goes right in here something like that got the charger so now that we got all that stuff in here and kind of put all this stuff back in because uh, we don't need all this sim card i will need like right now though so well after this video and then we're gonna hook this up to wi-fi and get things started boom all righty so what i'm gonna do is put that up here for now so you guys can see that still and then Look at this device here. Woo! Sexy, boy. And then the nice thing I like about it, too, is well, I, I hate that they kind of have your IMEI on the bottom here. I hate that they put your IMEI right on the back of the device. But you get very minimal logo branding on the back. Your Samsung, your IMEI made, uh, manufactured in Vietnam. And then the reason why I got this sky blue is because it kind of reminded me of, like, the like the Prism White or whatever they had a couple years ago. Uh, or actually last year and then it, and, and then the um, what's that one crystally color that they had that people was like 50 50 on where it changes colors but you guys can see there's a, a bit of a sheen so upon taking that off oh sorry Thanos please don't snap me away all right as you guys can kind of see a little bit you guys kind of see that rainbow ish hue that takes place when it's shining the nice part about this is it kind of reminds me of like the panda clear back even though it's not glossy per se it still will hide fingerprints so that's why i also got it so in the case i'm not wearing a case uh, no pun intended i can rock it straight out feels good it doesn't really feel slippery like it, it feels good a button placements are nice too boom why not turn it on boom Woo. and we're greeted with that samsung galaxy s25 g Secured by Knox, powered by Android. Whoa. Hey, yes, guys, I am ready for this device. Uh, let me guys, let, let me know down in the comments below if you guys are getting the S20, either of the three series or even the Z Flip for that matter. And since she wants to be loud right now, let me go ahead and just. Hey, I'm just gonna hush you, okay? Thank you. Ooh, I I, I like that up there. I heard what good luck. Um, since so this is on Android 10, good luck when you download that, you can actually change the sound assistant. You, know, you can download the sound assistant app, my bad, and change the placement of the volume to be on the side like most other devices. I don't know why Samsung still has it up at the top, but you can actually do that now. So let's go agree to all the terms, you know what I'm saying? Agree to everything. Hit that next. Ooh, it feels good. Now let me sign into my network. All right, so now it's checking for updates. I heard they sent out an update in advance 
uh, of the release, which is officially marks uh, March 6th. But a lot of us have been receiving it early, so it's you know installing updates right now and getting this device up and ready to go. I would almost expect that there would still be another update, if not on Friday, maybe the weekend or within the next week or so, especially concerning the batteries on the Ultra. I don't know if it's just the Ultra or all cameras, but. I would imagine that we might get that camera update as well within the coming weeks. So just be on the lookout for that. Taking a little bit to install this 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 uh, update here. La -di -di, la -di -da. All right, so now I can copy apps and data. And so I definitely want to be doing this here. So what I'm going to do is actually, actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it off camera and come back in my video for like features and stuff and all the things that I like, especially with One UI 2.0 or 2.0. I'm actually gonna come back then and kind of show you guys the phone right now. My other phone is charging, so I have to take out my microphone and then hook it up and, and copy apps and data and stuff. So I will be back at very shortly in terms of content with the S20, but I thought I'd bring in my very first impressions, the unboxing of it, some things we, we can all be on the lookout for. I dig the central punch hole there at the top. I dig how it's just so minimal on the front, you just get screened. On a screen and that 120 hertz woo, I can't wait to show y'all okay and I'll, I'll try to do a side-by-side -side comparison between the pixel 4 and the s20 just to see if there's a, a difference between 90 and 120 but I'm definitely looking forward to that so again leave comments down below what you guys think what you guys looking forward to or like to see but that's it for this video hope you guys appreciate and enjoyed it your boy versal signing out and until the next video Cloud blue, baby. Wait for it.